Hello everyone. So in today's lecture, we'll be discussing differences and similarities between these two techniques. All right. Both the techniques are of FFT. Okay. So far in a uh, few previous lectures, we have already seen this technique: decimation in time and detail. Okay. So we'll be uh, covering this one in upcoming lectures. Computation of DIF will become a lot more simpler if we know the relation between these two techniques. Okay. As you can see. Both the butterflies are of same magnitude, right? That is, I've considered uh, eight point DFT. Okay, that uh, indicates that n is eight. All right. In decimation in time algorithm, you can see uh, these x zero to x seven. These are time domain samples. All right. And on this side, we have DFT. I mean, the frequency domain samples, right? Transformed samples. In similar way for DIF, you can see uh, these are Time domain signals are samples. Likewise, on this side, we'll have frequency domain samples. Okay, I'll return to their structure later words. But before that, let us discuss the operation of single butterfly stage in each of these algorithms. All right. As you can see, these are the general structure of butterfly stages. Right. Single butterfly for DIT and DIF. All right. With two inputs. And two outputs. The only difference uh, here you will notice is the position of twiddle factor. All right. For DIT, it is first getting multiplied with sample B, and then further processing is done. Right. So after uh, at this point, you'll add with A. Right. And at this point, you'll subtract from A. Right. Uh, minus is missing from here. Right. But in DIF, you will first perform the subtraction. Right, A minus B, A is coming from this side, and uh, B you are getting from this side. So B multiplying with this minus one, and this will become at this point. This will become A minus B, right? And then it multiplies with the twiddle factor on this line, right? And you'll get this thing at the output, right? But uh, first output is unaffected of twiddle factor. Okay, so that way you have to perform for all the butterflies. Okay, in DIF, right? Now, if you see the structures of DIF and DIT, right, butterfly structures, so I'll see there are eight horizontal lines, right, because n here is eight, so it is an n point DFT, okay. So both the cases there will be eight inputs and eight outputs, right. You can notice three differences in both the structures. Okay, the first very much evident difference you will notice is that structure of DIF, uh, butterfly diagram of DIF is exactly the inverted image of DIT right. The third stage in DIT will appear in uh, first stage of DIF. Likewise, the first stage of DIT will appear as third stage of DIF. An intermediate stage it is uh, for now it is uh, in place as it is. The second difference you will notice is the position of the twiddle factors. Right, we have already discussed that. Likewise, third very evident uh, difference you can see is that uh, for DIT we considered the inputs as the decimated inputs. Right means we reverse the order of the bits then uh, we'll consider them here okay so that our output will be in proper order okay but for dif the order of input bits that is these bits is in proper order but the output bits or output samples they are decimated you can see you have zero then four uh, they are two pairs right likewise two six one five three seven the order is exactly same which we are uh, we were having in the input side of DIT. Okay. Now let us see the steps involved in designing of DIT and DIF algorithms. Okay. These are the same values we have already calculated for DIT algorithms in uh, last few lectures. Okay. So in similar way, we'll be performing for DIF. Just uh, we would like to see the similarities and comparison uh, we would like to make. Right. And differences we have already seen while discussing the butterfly diagrams, structure of butterfly diagrams. All right. So first step is number of input samples. All right. That is same for both the algorithms. Okay. So from here you can easily determine m. Right. If it is a eight point DFT. Right. If n is eight, so we'll get m equal to three. All right. The same way you can find out for DIF. Sorry, m equal to three. Okay. Now, in second point, you will notice some difference. Okay, here uh, we were performing bit reversal, right? 
then uh, we are considering that those uh, reversed inputs okay but basically we were uh, doing decimation in time but this time your order of inputs will be in uh, normal order okay or natural order in third steps we need to calculate the number of uh, stages in flow graph okay you know number of stages we can calculate from here also but uh, this is the standard formula right and this this is same for both the algorithms all right next is number of butterflies per stage all right so this is same for both the stages uh, both the uh, algorithms n by 2 and n by 2 okay we have considered those uh, uh, butterfly diagrams for n equal to 8 right so 8 by 2 will be 4 right so there will be four butterflies per stage we have already seen that right now next stage is separation between inputs and outputs of each butterfly stage right now here we know that uh, we have considered m uh, we have considered n equal to 8 that's why i'll get three butterfly stages right and uh, this small m is nothing but the stage index so it will vary from it can take values 1 2 and 3 only okay now let us for example consider for m equal to 1 right so this will become 1 minus 1 output is 1 okay likewise for this one we have m equal to 3 and small m i have considered 1 right so 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 to the 4 okay so you can see the difference okay that means the difference between inputs or outputs of first stage in dit is by one sample only right but for dif the separation is by four samples okay now, as you can see in the algorithm flow chart you'll notice that for dit for dit uh, the separation between two samples of first stage is one only right likewise uh, if we move on to stage number two the separation between two inputs of uh, one butterfly is two samples right likewise for third stage there are uh, there is a gap of four samples right likewise if you move to dif its first stage inputs or outputs are separated by at least four samples you can see one two three and four for stage two it is separated by two samples the inputs are separated by two samples right likewise for uh, last stage stage three there is a gap of one sample only right in next stages are complex multiplications number of complex multiplications and number of complex additions right so they can be calculated in similar way as well as we were calculating for dit right the formula is all same next step is to determine number of sets of butterflies in each stage right like uh, for this one we have already calculated right capital m is 3 for this case and small m is let's say we are calculating for stage 1 okay so this comes out to be 3 minus 1 okay so this is 4 all right likewise here you can see uh, the equation is somewhat different all right so this becomes 2 to the power 1 minus 1 okay so 1 all right now i'll notice the number of sets of butterfly for dit for first stage is 4 whereas for dif it is 1 okay as you can see in this diagram uh, we have 1 sorry 1 2 3 and four butterflies in first stage right four sets of butterflies likewise for second stage we are having only two stage uh, one and two right in final stage we are having only one set of butterfly likewise for dif it will be exactly reversed right in first stage we'll have only one butterfly stage one set of butterfly right for second one we'll have two sets of butterflies right and in third stage we'll have four sets of butterflies okay next step is calculation of twiddle factor exponent right twiddle factor we know we write twiddle factor like uh, wn to the power k so this k will be determining here right we know we have already calculated this for dit right but uh, there is you can see you can notice some difference in the formula the process of uh, determining number of twiddle factors to be calculated is same as we were doing for dit right and how many values of k per stage we have to calculate that will determine using this stage separation between inputs and outputs right like uh, if we have one uh, unit of separation between inputs of one butterfly 
then we'll have to calculate only one twiddle factor one one exponent factor right that is for t equal to 0 only right but for uh, dif the samples are separated by four samples right the inputs are separated by four samples that's why we have to consider we have to calculate for t equal to 0 1 and up to 3 right 2 3 therefore you'll we'll notice that uh, for uh, dit uh, for stage number 1 we'll have only one value of twiddle factor right but for dif we'll have four different values right 0 uh, uh, sorry 8 0 8 1 8 2 and 8 to the power 3 all right you can verify this in the butterfly diagram right you can see all the butterflies are having same value for first stage in dit right but for dif all the values are different right so four different twiddle factors we have to calculate for stage four okay for details you can watch the lectures on dit okay next is exponent repeat factor right this exponent i have calculated for step one uh, stage one right then how many time uh, this will repeat okay that will calculate in this particular step okay like uh, for step uh, stage number one if i consider so this becomes three minus m is one okay so two to the power two that is four times right so w at two to the power zero will repeat four times okay likewise if i consider for dif two to the power m is suppose one this is first stage each twiddle factor will have only one instance right it will not repeat at all now last step is the output sequence okay uh, as we have already discussed that uh, input sequence for dit is decimated right but out, uh, output of dit is in natural order right x 0 1 and up to 7 okay but but for dif your output is decimated right but input is in natural order right so your output will be bit reversed and the order will be same just like uh, you are having in dit all right for uh, that's all for now thank you